Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. This episode I was going to I was planning to go and see that place on the on the treasure on the treasure hunt. But first of all, I haven't got time today, so I'm gonna to have to do it another day. But first of all, let's do some other bits and pieces. What I'd like to do is to get something speeded up. And what I'm gonna speed up is the um transfer node on the um and the chest putting stuff into the sorting system storage drawers let's have a look at that first of all at the moment what i've got is um let's have a look i've got one of these so i've got an impulse item duct with a reinforced servo now reinforced servo is not the highest tier by a long way but this thing isn't emptying out fast enough and when i got the lag this was definitely not emptying out anywhere near fast enough so what i'm going to do today so we're going to make that go faster for those in there. I don't know. Usually I'm throwing these away for protection for at the moment. You can see it gets emptied quite often. In fact, I could make some more beheading upgrades and so we'll clear it out a bit. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to replace this. So let's just turn this off so stop things stop going through it. And then we're going to take our crescent hammer here and we're going to shift right click that off there like that. Pick them up. Hopefully I have. Yes, I have. Good. And I'm going to put in its place an item duct and transfer node. <laughs> if I can, that is. Got it in eventually. It's a bit weird with that with that effect. In fact, I think it's uh, sort of making me be a bit crazy. <laughs> Let's put that onto there like that. Right, good. So then we just take a hammer, because I'm hammer here, and right click these, and I'll take those bits off there. So now this signal is on that means it's not going to pipe stuff through here let's just check it see it's not clicking through so now we turn it on and it off and it will be clicking it should be clicking through transfer node unless that's off that's okay that's off so let's have a look is there actually stuff moving out of here no it isn't why not that's strange let me remove this one. Maybe it's confusing it a bit. Nope. I'm pretty sure it hasn't got a redstone signal. Let's just put some redstone down here and double check it. I need to get some redstone first. If that doesn't work, well, I'll be amazed because it's working from the other side, so that can't be a problem, can it? And I've still got the climbing glove on me. As you can see, I'm still climbing up the walls. <laughs> You've got to get it right in the middle and it works fine. So I put some redstone dust down here. So there's no, there's nothing on that. So there's no signal there. So why is that not working then? That's a, does it not work on ender chests? Or does it not work on the top of ender chests? Ah. If it doesn't work on the top of ender chests, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure how to solve that one. Maybe we can do it from the... I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just go through here and try and break it out this way. I might be able to get through here. Let's have a look. I have to go right through the ship in order to do that, I think. Have we got through there? I don't think we're outside it yet. Let's have a look. It's hard to see if we're actually outside. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go down here. Oh, yes, we're outside, so I can should be able to check from the other side. Let's just take this transfer node off here, and I can shift right click it off as well. It's good. And I picked it up. Uh, did I pick it up? No, I don't see it. So it must be down the other side there somewhere. Right, let's go outside. Huh. What did I say? That's going to drive me crazy. I waste too much time doing that. So we should be able to see that from this wing over here. Let's go over here. Yeah. I can pick up a bit some pieces. Great. <clears throat> now we've got here some vines. Right, I can get rid of these. So now I should be able to take this block out of here like that put in here the transfer node 
it doesn't really matter which side to put it on to be honest with you it'll just have a little bit of a longer path now is anything coming to here yes they have a good and you'll see it's actually coming in fairly slowly so we've got two ways to speed that up let's take this off here like this huh why can't i get oh because of the transfer node i have to break it now I probably haven't got enough transfer nodes now because we're going to need at least two, three. That'll connect in there. I've got another one here. That won't, but it's not reaching that one. So let's go and make some transfer nodes. It's going to fill everything up before we can empty it all out. It doesn't matter too much. So we're going to, at the same time, we're going to make some speed upgrades and a stack upgrade, I think. But both of those need GP. So I need, first of all, vile dust. Now, where have I put that? Is there any vile dust in here? No, I think it's probably in the storage system. Huh. Tell you what, I'm going to remove the glove for the time being. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> vile dust should be in the middle chest here that's flux wow that's good I've got nine others yeah. so now we need some transfer nodes transfer pipes is what I need really so what we're missing glass and stone slabs I should maybe have some in here no we've got stone And glass we should have in here as well. I think six will probably make well, uh, we'll make two sets. Because actually they're quite good transfer nodes. Glass we'll already should have in there anyway. If I haven't have to make some more quickly, but uh, pretty sure we will have. So let's have shift this in. Note glass. Oh, okay. To quickly go make some glass. Unless I've got some in here. Now I've got some sand in here, that'll do. I've got some bread in here. Four pieces of glass will probably do, I think. Let's do it like that. I went fairly quick, didn't it? So let's do that again. I'll be on this crafting table I need to do it, won't I? So transfer node up. twelve. While I'm at it as well, if I can I make another transfer pipe. No, I can't. One redstone and one chest. We haven't got enough bits and pieces for a chest now. What I did do is I made a from a suggestion from Bob the Big Bat, I made some void upgrades and I put some void upgrades on most of these chests here. Um, in fact, I can actually reach this, can't I? Like that. So now, stuff should be coming out, going out of here as well, as, it, as you can see it does. But this is fairly slow, this searching here, so we need some speed upgrades for that. So let's make some speed upgrades. So really what I want to do is add extra utilities and I want speed and I should get this one here speed upgrade so block of redstone and this one actually this is actually a quest so this is the resonator some gold plates let's make half a dozen of those because I know we're going to need those for a while gold I've got plenty of gold eight She uses ATP. So we need one of those, I think, for the resonators, don't we? For this particular thing. And a block of redstone. I actually might complete a quest. I'm not sure how many I've got to make. Um, block of redstone. Half of that will do for a block of redstone. I probably have to make more than one speed upgrade, but we'll see. So a gold ingot. Oh, 
They're in here, aren't they? Shift them and then they go into the right place. Only makes one. I think that's a fairly expensive recipe. What we can do with this now, and then come along here, can put it into here like this. You'll see the speed where the number Y is counting up and down. If I put this in here, it's going to use GP. How much GP does it use? One GP power penalty. You see that's now going faster. So I'm going to have to make a couple more of those by the looks of it. Probably haven't got enough redstone in there. So let's go and get some redstone. Did I get stuck of redstone? Did I get stuck? Yes, I did. Good. So we've got some funny bits with this. I'll put some of this. I'll put this vial dust back in here. I don't think I need that for the time being. And I've got some plant fibre from somewhere or other. Should look right there. No, it didn't go away. I think they'll put the plant fibre down in here. No, I don't, but it'll do for the time being. So that's the one upgrade. So we need some more blocks of redstone. How many am I going to make? So I think, let's make about three. And we'll need three of those things and three gold ingots. That's not too bad. Now that should complete a quest. I think resonate is a quest. EU upgrades, fantastic. And I think we have to make three of those. So I want to make another three. And the other one we can make is a stack upgrade. Like this. Oh, that's actually easier. We're not using blocker, we're just using diamonds. We only need one stack upgrade. And this has, does have quite a reasonable power penalty, I think. A block of gold, uh, gold ingot again. Where are they there? Oh no, it's actually one GP in this case. So now, when we put the stack upgrade in here, it's going to send things through a stack at a time. So instead of doing ones and that, it's going to do 64s and you go. Now we're going to put in the, the speed upgrades, and you'll see this should be counting a lot faster. In fact, it doesn't even seem to be pulling the stuff in as fast. So if you sort this chest now, it'll actually start to bring other bits and pieces in. Don't care about these swords, they'll get pulled out to the other side. Actually, that will do. Probably don't need the stack upgrade in this, but as soon as it gets these out of the way, it will send the whole stack of blaze rods out. Good, I think that's okay. And I'll put this block back now. And I should go and put the wall back on the other side, but I'll do that off, off camera next, afterwards. Now, another interesting feature of Vector Utilities is the indexer. This thing. And here we need some stone butts to don't. Someone that says a screen, what's that one? Can we do that? Yes, we probably can, in fact. Let's get some more. Have I got some ender pulse segments in here? No, I haven't. Let's just take. Oh, don't want blaze rods. Let's split two of these up. I need a knife cutter, which I know where it is. It's in here. This one. Glass cutter. We just split these under pills up with a glass cutter. They last for a reasonable amount of time. Oh, they didn't stack. Okay. I was curious about that. Put the glass cutter back in there. Where's it gone to? What do with the glass cutter? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Try again. Still can't see it. There it is. Now some stone burnt. I'm not sure how much stone I've got. Let's have a look. 16. That will do for the time being. I've got eight, I think. Stone burnt. I need nine, I, I reckon. So we need some polished stone. 
like that. And we'll put that into the resonator. Like that, so we can make the first of these components. If you've never seen the resonator before, it's a really cool item, so we need one of these. I think we need three of these, but uh, can make this as we need them. Yes, we do. Make four. And then one screen, and then we should be able to make this. But I think we're missing some bits. We're missing one. <laughs> one. That should be ready now. My voice is a bit husky. Until you want to go four of those out. And there is another component to this, and that's the indexer remote. So we need another screen. Let's do that. What else do we need? Cobblestone. What are these things? Okay, so I need some more resonating crystals. So ender pearls. That should be no big deal. Let's try that again. Two of those. This one, isn't it? To get two of these, and then we should be able to make this, but from one. So that's just ordinary stone blocks. I've only got one. Does that not show up? Chiseled stone. I suppose that's just ordinary stone. If it is, this'll do. Great. And then we actually have to make some more transfer nodes. Again. Item transfer nodes. I did need a chest and some stone, didn't I? Let's go and get a chest made. The wood's outside in the in the chest there. I should really find a good way to put this down, shouldn't I? And to feed it back into the base. So we've got twenty 40 pieces in there plus a stack if i want more i just take another i'll say half a stack of that put that uh, it's sort of weird, weird when it does that like that i don't like that i must be honest let's right click oh just turn it around try that again let's put the stack in there oh, it's still not the right direction let's just uh there we go yeah good hopefully i didn't put a block of wood behind it probably did what I've been making recently was, and I've done the same thing again, some Eulorium. I, was gonna, I wanted to make some more. We we'll probably need some for the big reactors. So, right. Chest. <laughs> I'm still doing it. I make four chests that back in there so now we can make the transfer node I think what are we missing nothing so we get four of those good now how this works is how am I gonna do this I want to do it here but maybe I can move the furnace out to the way what's in the furnace it's a bit of coal at the moment good let's move the furnace out of the way And I hope this hasn't changed since the last time I did it. It probably has. I'll take the hopper out there as well. I'll put the hopper back on top of this furnace. <laughs> I'm too far away when I do that. Oh, I can't do it because of this. To remove this thing. Yeah, good. In fact, we'll put that. I don't know what we'll do with that one. Actually, doing this with you. Put it in the, Put it in this thing here. I think. Yeah. So what you do with the index is you put it down like that. And I need to connect stuff to it. 
we'll do it at the we'll do it at the top to start with and i'll move it around afterwards so you right click it and you've got this pattern here so you've got a crafting uh frame on the left hand side items and you've got an input and an output here and here so what you have to do then you have to connect it to the inventory so there's an inventory here so we need some transfer nodes and they just connect it if i'm not mistaken like this and then when you look at this it doesn't have show anything up yet so what you then do if i've got this right you put a transfer node down here and it's powered so it takes eight eight up eight <laughs> can't speak gp and it's still not picking the stuff up do i have to put the transfer nodes i didn't remember if you have to put the transfer nodes on it or not what i should be seeing here is i should be seeing the contents of this and then with the remote one you can right click it ah i have to bind it do i index remote and then you can see the contents of that so for example we could put those in there and they should be fed in and those will be actually going somewhere oh look they are they're going into this crafting table here and that wasn't actually the intention we don't really want it connecting to there so you can right click this like that and take the thing off it's not ideal this setup at the moment but i only want to get it to work let's try that again so we put those into there and they should end up in one of these two here they are they're coming into here three why hasn't it put the fourth one in is it putting them in oh yes it split them up to two let's put them into different sides but there is a retrieval part of this do i need a retrieval node on that do you know i have forgotten just give me a minute and i'll go and check it out ah it should be working maybe it doesn't work with these small storage scripts from actual editions I'll tell you what we'll do let's try something else let's remove this crafting table and put down an ordinary chest i've got one on me that's good my inventory is getting full as usual but it's strange because it's pushing the items in there but it should be seeing the items and i don't know why it isn't let's move that there and where's it gone to transfer nodes oh, i used all those transfer nodes up no i can't because they're in this aren't they let's put this onto this like that let's put just something in this chest let's put in say this impulse item booked in here now let's go and look and look in the index huh? and it's not showing up ah oh, of course it's not yes i hadn't noticed <laughs> there we go so everything we see in here is now in there so we should be able to see that impulse item duct in here i'd forgotten it linked up oh. now you can take it out you click it and it comes out and here it is i can then take it out of here i can then put it back in again and it disappears from here and it actually appears here now where it's gone to in the storage network i ain't sure probably in one of these oh this one in the nearest available storage but this also works with the remote indexer so for instance and it's in this is actually interdimensional so you can be any dimension you want to and you can put stuff in i use this a lot in forever stranded that's why i was a bit puzzled as to what i was doing wrong so you can see here we got those items let's say i want a what should we have a look at iron ingots i can't spell of course and then we've got 45 iron ingots now this will take out a stack at a time so when i shift click when i click this it takes out one item if i shift click it it will retrieve all 45 or the remaining items in there i put this back into there and it'll push these away they'll disappear somewhere in fact i can do that to everything now this is quite slow and you can't speed it up not that it matters that much because you can also do things smart things like this let's just you can't stop at this but you can say block of iron plus and it goes into here so you can then take this out of there like that let's put those back into here and then do that again and you see it's taken everything out of here and these are going back into the system i think 
<laughs> probably tell you what we'll do. That's probably a bad one since I've decided to click them all out. Let's just go to gold. And let's make a block of gold like this. You see, it's actually pulling the items out of here like that. And it'll pull out nine. And then stop. So if this wasn't in here like like that, well, actually we'll put it there. I do a block of gold. It'll use those nine up again. Like that. If I do it again, click, plus it in, it'll bring them back in again. I'm not sure if it goes straight into the, or just brings them down here to be, so it can be crafted. I think it does. Because there are nine slots in here, which basically makes it possible to do everything you want. Let's put those in there, put that back away. So those will slowly disappear. And of course they would disappear faster if I put some speed upgrades in there. So that's what I want to show you on those. That, those are really useful little items to have around with you. So that is definitely going to go into my backpack for the oh, take down the card. My backpack for the for the journey. You never know what you need when you need it. What else did I want to put in there? Probably that's it for the time being. I want to put these away, but I'll put everything away. In fact, what I could do now is, of course, put stuff into the, into the indexer. The system will get a bit disorganized, but you can do other smart things with this. One thing you can do with these is they have an extra utility, they have a filter. You can hardly see it because it's black background, but that's the that's this filter, a transfer filter. And you can actually put a transfer filter and then you can put a filter inside the transfer filter and that will then filter stuff out. Let's see if we can actually demonstrate that. Because I broke that, I broke that crafting table, didn't I? I've the, got the nine gold into here. Put this back into where I want them to be. If they'll go, I see probably won't. Where did they go to? I oh, yes, see did. Sort that out. We could craft one of those. I won't do it for now, I don't think. I'll set that up later on. This all needs um, power. So I need eight power drains. I'm using 10 power at the moment. That's interesting. Did I not put those speed upgrades into here? Oh, I did. They should be sp speed upgrade. So it's 4.38 GP from this one. This is using one max upgrade 64. Oh, that's changed. Used to have to be, only have 20 in it. That's probably why it's not going as fast as I expected it to do. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's not clever. What I did there is I've, I haven't taken those out. I need to filter it. But don't filter it. Stuff's not going to go out of here. So I've got to basically put in a filter that's exactly the same as this filter, but the reverse of it, an inverse of this one. Which I might be able to do. That's going to take a bit of time to set up. Huh. That's not so good, is it? So let's put one of this pick out of theirs now. A basic golden sword and an iron helmet protection for. I don't want either of those two. I don't think we've put them in there. And they will disappear into the into there. Ah. Okay, that's messed things up a bit, hasn't it? Right. Next thing. This is a tip from. Uh, Malacqua. What he says is you can actually put uh, more eulorium and ice around your uh, thermoelectric generators and it increases the power. So I've got some ice in here. Let's just take a piece of ice out of here. What I'm going to do is and I want to sort of prove this. I need to I need to get that, don't I? I mean the eulorium out of here because I've only got two bits left. So 35, we'll take those, we'll smelt those up. The glass should also be ready in here, of course. Let's get the glass out of here. It shouldn't take too long for two pieces. Um, I need to chisel this. Have I got my chisel with me? Yes, I have. Just click on this one and pick a chisel pattern. I think this one will do. Bricks. Chisel. 
and that chisels it in my inventory for me. So have I got any? Yes, I have. Good. So I need nine of these. Ten. Okay, we'll just craft these up. I've got actually what I can do now, of course, is I've got the crafting this, and I can right click this, and I can craft this into a block. Like that. Put the other one away. And take this one out. Neat, huh? I can also put the glass away. Don't want that with me at the moment. Stone. I put all of this stuff away. I don't need it with me. And these I'm going to file away in the in the in the drawers and fix that one. That one I can put away. Okay, good. So what he says is, if we put two of those on the side of this, then it should go faster. So let's have a look at this at the moment. So this isn't basically it's staying about the same. It's not going up and it's not going down. And the same is probably true for here. I've got two more seeds. And the, um, that's actually a bit awkward, this one. I have to pause it. Like that. Unlock this, like that. And then split them up like that, if I want to do it this way. Lock it again, and then pause, unpause it. And I should get a second seed being planted. Like that. Now, that was also, power-wise, is staying around about it's around about the same isn't it it's not going up it's not going going down if it's going down very slowly so what he says i can do is i can take this here for example let's put this let's move this block don't need that now let's put some which we're going to put down there it doesn't matter really whether i put ice or yellow or down there we'll put uh, ice down there and we'll put eulorium here And then this should be producing more power. Now we can find that out if these are going up. 10, indeed it is going up, as you can see. Very slowly, it's going 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. So that is definitely producing more power. Thank you very much for that tip, by the way, Malakwa. Great, good one. And also yours was a good one too, Bill. Bob the Big Bat says, well, I'm putting the void upgrades on, I should put them all on so when I build the things, which of course I never do. Now, the wireless transmitter. That was another, no, oh, it's, I've got them with me actually, they're in this memory card. Yeah, I misunderstood how these work. They're actually, it says an RF, uh, tran what's it say called? Oh, transmitter. It's not really a transmitter, it's actually a receiver, I believe. So, for example, here we have this battery, and I think the bat they get linked to this battery automatically. So if I put, for example, one of these onto here like this, and right-click this, oh, it's actually not coming into the centrifugal. Why not? <laughs> Why is that not going onto that machine? All right, I have to remove that. Maybe I just picked a bad one. Because all these have got power, of course. Let's put it on itself. Automate. Uh, upgrade required. Augmentation. Oh, to me, actually, use this thing. I've got to upgrade it. Okay. That's interesting. That's not what I expected, and that's a bit of a, I want to demonstrate this thing. I'm going to have to either build another machine or upgrade it. Well, there is another machine to build. Uh, from Thermal Foundation to complete those six machines. Let's have a look, F4, most of the quests. We actually did complete one, didn't we? The thermal. What do we got to make here? A phytogenic. So let's make a, and that'll be a phytogenic isolator. No, I've never made one of these machines. Spell that wrong, probably. Isolator. Can't spell, let's try the other way around. Still can't see it. Have I spelled that wrong? 
I'm just wondering if I'm being blind or I can't see it. Let me just try that again. <laughs> Phytogenic. Uh, it's one of these words I have difficulty with. Here we go. Oh, insulator. That's why I'm having difficulty with it. Right, copper gears, redstone reception core, machine frame. No big deal. Okay, let's do that one. So, that one we can click in. Copper gears, we need eight, so we'll take half of those. We'll make, we'll make four gears, because we're bound to need them where they've gone to. I can't see copper for the life of me. Oh, it doesn't matter very much. I've got some copper in. I've got some copper in here anyway. 12. Well, they're at 8 or 16, I think. So, put those into there. That's a lot. We can, what more? Ah, that's good. Fine. So, that's on. So, that's going to just make some gears. They'll come out in there. Redstone reception coil. Oh, there's something else interesting at the top I didn't notice. What was that? Is that an aluminum gear? Okay, something new for us. Molten aluminum. Aluminum ingots. How do we make aluminum? But aluminum blend. Okay. Tin dust, silver dust. We'll make four with a bucket of energized glowstone. Actually, that's not too difficult. Three. We need three tin, one silver. Could have taken half of those, couldn't I? And one silver. Let's put that in there. Twelve stone burnt. Right, good. And we need to pulverize these. That's a crusher. Actually, maybe the crusher does work. Actually, we'll put them in a the pulverizer. Anyway, it's silver and tin. And they should end up in here, I hope. Taking their time. Nice, oh, going. Good. Pulverize silver. We need three tin. Three. Now, energized glowstone I already have here. So this was the energized glowstone I picked up from the buckets and the previous thing, and I've got this set over there. This is probably the wrong way around, and I want to get rid of this thing here. Let me just, uh, how am I going to get rid of this? Uh, let's just put it in this chest for the time. Let's press E, put this into, fill that up and put the rest of it into there, good. Right, so, so I should now be, this will be the fluid transposer, I don't want the fluid transposer, I want the Induction smelter. Oh, hold on, it's a crafting recipe, isn't it? Ah, of course it is, yes. Ah, so easy. Brain's not working today. Take a book at that, right? Click the bucket on here. Fills it up. I should be able to craft that in now, shouldn't I? So, look. If I'm not mistaken, we should be able to make aluminum. Let's do it in here. So it was three to one on the top. One silver, one bucket, and three tin across the top. Should make four aluminum. And I'll throw my bucket away, I'll pick it up, and then we'll put the aluminum in here to make the ingots. I think we need ingots, don't we? Four. Ah, can't be done in there. What do I do with these? And my, oh, of course. Actually, I can put these straight into the. Um, Smelter, if the smelter will allow me to smelt these as well. Let's just check that out, because I've got the right thing. I want a gear of these, don't I? Good, that's working, and not too slowly. So we've got our two copper gears. Lorium ingots will take with us. How long is that going to take? That's going to take a few seconds, but that's, I think, is the last thing we need for the, for the machine. All right, what am I going to do with this? I was going to put those into here, wasn't I? Stone burnt. Let's put the stone burnt in here too. 
we're likely to need it in here more than anywhere else and we'll, and we'll put the rest of these into here like that yes stone ah, I can't get any stone in there at the moment okay I'm a bit full I'm going to sort out my inventory between episodes in fact what I can also do let's take that impulse item ducked out of here put that back onto the system we're waiting for those gears that won't take too long so well I learned something new today well, the item transfer nodes don't work on the top whereas this one does on right well, at least that'll help this to get out even if the other ones gets blocked it's still going to be it's going to be a bit better because at least I've got two ways of getting this out now so I put that out what happened there that was not broken and suddenly it became repaired that's archaic do you know I don't know what okay I don't know what this means on these swords and things like that that was very strange Okay, good. So we've got our aluminum gear, so that's the those bits we need. Hopefully we don't need an upgrade on this one. So phyt phytogenic isolates, what's that? Dirt. Oh absolutely not any type of dirt. Yeah, well that makes sort of sense because it's the machine that you use for making stuff like that good that should complete the quest but it hasn't done but we can actually test this down well oh, I'll put it down here like this and I, if I'm not mistaken that's the way it's worked so for the way I've correctly understood this I can just put this transfer node either on top of it or beside it and right click it and you'll see it's pointing to this machine so this machine should be getting power I've not understood something correctly as far as I, I can see I probably I don't know if I got to link these things together but it doesn't seem to be charging this up. Hmm. I thought this had to be. I thought this thing had to be on the battery. Maybe it has to be on the battery. Well, it'll certainly work if I put it on the battery. I thought it worked remotely. The batteries here, for example. If I put it actually on, put it down here, and then put this on the battery, and it's got a four-block range, I think that'll definitely work. As you can see, it's charging up all of these machines. And it's still getting power. Well, that's confusing. I don't understand. Oh, hold on a second. Let's try to. This I don't like very much. In or out, but you can't choose both. Ah, oh, but you can link two batteries together. That was what, like I said, I'm still not getting any power. I don't understand. Sides are on the out. Send sides to the output. Well, I presumably have to. Sp ah, maybe I've got this wrong. Maybe I have to link this together. I'll tell you what, can I not break that off? Ah, pickaxe then. I see. It's got an interface on this. So if I put this into here like this, and it's linked, I was hoping to put that in there, it would get through and link it, but it doesn't seem to be. It transmits energy from batteries to nearby blocks. So why is it not transferring the energy out of here? I wonder. I was expecting this to get power. Well, I'm going to have to do some more research on that one. I do apologise. I thought that was how it worked, but it isn't. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, I haven't claimed those two requests, but we'll do that next time. So until then, bye for now. <laughs>